the internet's just evolving into something much bigger than what it, we know now. Non-fungible token. NFT sales hitting $340 million. The art world just turned upside down. With us exclusively now is Neon Cat creator Chris Torres. My name is Chris Torres. I'm 35 years old and my flying cat being sold for over half a million dollars. NFTs are non-fungible tokens. So non-fungible means non-replaceable. And at the end of the day, that means that it's a one-of-a-kind piece. And it can't be replaced, it can't be forged, it will always be tied back to me. Somebody could go out there and create a replica of it, but at the end of the day, it's all traceable. NFTs tie the creator to the artwork. It's a great way to empower an artist. If you wanted to, you could just like spend cash on a physical piece of artwork, but at the end of the day, you don't know if it's real, you don't know where it's from, where it's been, it's subject to damage, it's subject to being lost, it's subject to not being seen by as many people. So in this case, with the Neon Cat NFT, it's a digital piece, everybody can see it. It's not just something that somebody owns on their phone, it's in a network. If you are making an NFT, if you're brand new to the space, you make your piece and then you list it, and then from there, it's up to the internet to decide if they want it or not, and how much they want it for. So yeah, this is exciting. Um, I didn't think it would get this huge, but I'm, I'm very happy to see how crazy everything's gotten. When I originally listed my Yanked NFT, it got a few bits right away, and that started the option. I got my good luck cat here. Got a few bits right away. Then, then there was nothing. <laughs> and then I was like, what's going on? It looks like we got 20 minutes left. But then on the last hour, that's when it really picked up. That's already <laughs> wow. fantastic. <laughs> the energy in that chat room was just like insane. It was just like so much positive energy. Going twice. Going twice. History. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Sold. Yeah. I, I had no idea what to even say. I didn't want to like just be like screaming the whole time, but so I was like trying to be professional. It sold for what was 300 Ethereum, which at the time ended up being about $560,000 worth of cryptocurrency. However, it's been a few months since that's happened. 300 Ethereum is now worth over a million dollars. And the piece itself, the Nyanket NFT itself, is also worth a million dollars. It's always going to go up and down and you never really know at the end of the day how it's going to go. I personally view it as kind of like my retirement fund. I'm living the same life mostly that I have been, but like now I'm just making art as a living, which is kind of what I've always wanted to do. I've been on the internet since the mid nineties and I've always been just gravitating towards me. I love to draw, I love cats. I love just the internet in general, and I, I feel like I've lived on the internet for most of my life. I actually started with thick figure comics called LOL Comics, and then Yankat eventually ended up being a part of that world. But I didn't really think that my art, that Yankat, would actually be something. Cat flying in space in a pop star. Yeah. Thank you. When I originally posted Yankat, I had no idea what it would just turn into. It was just supposed to be like a profile photo for myself. You know, I went to sleep and it just became this huge overnight crazy phenomenon. So when I woke up, I was getting hundreds of emails like right away with people just like telling me how much they love the work, asking me how I made it. It was the whole world looking at it. I created several versions of Nyan Cat. I recently made Nyan Dogecoin as a gift to the Dogecoin community. And I think that's really cool how it's evolving. There's a lot of like VR projects that are actually making 3D galleries where you can walk around and see how people display their artwork. And it's like game changing. Memes are eternal. Memes are always gonna be there and they're never gonna go away. We got these old school memes that are just resurging back on the internet now. There's value in that. There's, you know, they've become household names. I feel like we're just, we're still only getting started with NFTs and memes in general. It's just, the internet is just taking over the real world. And it's really fascinating to see how it's all gonna work out from here. <laughs>